Hey Libra, so we're gonna do your monthly reading here. Um, I'm on the floor in my little nest because it felt good and yeah, so <laughs> I might bump the table a little bit. I'm sorry for that. Um, this is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general reading for everyone, so it's not going to apply to every single person. Um, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, the energies can be transferable, so keep that in mind throughout the reading. <clears throat> and I pre-shuffled these decks, but I like to shuffle them a little bit more. Libra, we're going to start with your, your signifier. Signifier for Libra, November reading. We have the Ace of Cups. Oh, so you might be um, offering your love to someone or reconnecting to spirituality. Um, you might find love and nurturing in the people around you. Um, a lot of people offering love. Um, we shall see when we go to clarify, sorry. And then let's go ahead and get into your main spread here, Libra. November reading for Libra. Situation, obstacle, Action recommended and outcome. So for your situation, we have four of earth. You might be kind of um, clinging to control of your resources, clinging to control of your stability and abundance. Um, you might be regaining control of your finances and home life. This can also mean that you're having trouble letting go. So just remember to keep at least one hand open so that you can continue to receive blessings from the divine. And then for your obstacle this month, the six of fire, <laughs> which is funny because it's success. So this might mean that you prob might have like a fear of success or a fear of the limelight. Um, fear of recognition, maybe, or perhaps um, your success and light is shining too brightly in other people's faces. It's going to be different for everyone, so when we clarify, we'll get a little bit more information there. And then for your action recommended is four of air, which is basically like taking time away to rest and reflect. Um... In the traditional Rider weight deck, the per, the individual is laying on one sword and has three swords hung up. So it's meant to in like imply when you take some time, maybe because you're an air sign, write down what has worked for you this far in your life and what hasn't worked for you. What are you going to take with you moving forward and what are you going to leave behind? Um, make a list of your goals and stuff like that. Just reflect and regain your inner clarity, um, your clarity of mind and confidence. <clears throat> and recover from whatever, you know, got you feeling like, you know, you needed to take that rest. So for our outcome in November, we have three of air. You might be feeling an energy of heartbreak or disappointment. You might be feeling a little bit stabbed in the back and betrayed, but we will see when we go to clarify more. Okay, Libra, let's go back to your signifier, that Ace of Cups, that super loving spiritual card. Libra, November signifier. We have creativity. I feel like you're realigning and co-creating with the universe. A lot of you might be painters or creators or, you know, make music or something like that. And it really makes you feel like you're in the flow state and um, 
one with the universe and everyone in it. So this can also mean that you are collaborating with others around you. You're just feeling really abundant emotionally and spiritually um, and able to create uh, and manifest this month, I feel. Let's go ahead and get one more card for your signifier. Libra. Ace of Cups and three creativity. The Seven of Pentacles. So you're really putting in the work on something. You're really working on something and even though things are unsure, you're not exactly, you might have a little bit of doubts here and there. I feel like you're really, really passionate about something or someone and you're really, really willing to be creative, work on yourself, co-create with the universe. Um, I think you're aware of your doubts but you're just really just way too um, in 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 tune to <laughs> be carried away or washed away with them. Um, not really wanting to self sabotage. So we'll see. Ooh, goodness gracious. Okay, let's clarify four of Earth for your situation this month. Four of Earth this. Stable control, financial control or home control. Consciousness. I feel like you're gaining a lot of stability this month. You're tapping into your inner consciousness and regaining your clarity. You might be working on your third eye and your throat chakra and um, regrounding yourself financially. Um, you might be having a lot of ideas and intuitive visions on um, how to create financial abundance for yourself and financial growth. Uh, you might be having new I just just ideas and a lot of intellectual but but rooted in consciousness are are, a lot of self-help, financial, and, and stuff like that are coming to you. I don't know. It just, um, well, this is us, you know, because we're air signs. I'm not Libra, but it's, um, this is the king of air. So becoming very intellectually stimulated and uh, clear about what you want and what you can do for yourself. Let's clarify four of earth and consciousness for you, Libra, your situation for November. I have the page of wands, so I feel like you're feel <clears throat> with these new ideas, these new solutions that you've created, your your creative creating for yourself. You're becoming impassioned and really excited and uh, youthful. I feel like you're looking at the life that you're manifesting for yourself kind of in awe despite your doubts. I feel like you're very fiery and in, um, inspired and passionate. New ideas are just booming away for you. Um, I feel like you're doing, getting a lot of stuff done as well. Not just having the ideas, but having the actions to back it up. And let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Fire for what's undermining you, Libra. What is this obstacle? We are the world. Which is kind of like a ten of pentacles energy. This is the ten of ten of rainbows. So this is kind of saying basically I feel like someone
you might be um, clinging to the idea of success and have the wrong idea of exactly what you want for yourself and it's making you maybe feel a little bit isolated because of the jealousy and backlash you're receiving um, not really feeling a part of the, these cards can't come in reverse so but intuitively I feel like you see how all of these people are holding hands but no one's like clinging or 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 fighting or anything like that it's a very uh, wholesome whole harmonious feeling it's we are the world and it's very grounded and whole obviously but since it's in your what's undermining you with this six of fire it's like you're clinging to the outcomes of success and maybe clinging to validation outside of yourself and people coming along with you um but people are let's let's see <clears throat> Clarify the Six of Fire, Ten of Rainbows, We Are the World, for this obstacle. Libra's obstacle in November. The world. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so people might see you as very self-centered, um, selfish, willing to do whatever it takes to get what's yours. Um, and honestly, you might be sending people a lot of red flags because, you know, she's like the center of the world. And if there is an, there's no I in team, there's no I in this wholeness here. So, um, you know, success takes being harmonious and ch six, checking yourself, putting yourself in check, being accountable, um, and being harmonious with the people around you, whether it be in work, fi uh, work, your creative outlet, love, family, you know, you have to be willing to work with others and learn from your cycle, the cycles that you go through. Okay, Libra, four of air for your solution, for the action recommended. November action recommended for Libra. We have the fool. So step out of your step out of what you believe for yourself. Step out of your norm. Start over again with this with the knowledge and um with the lessons that you re you learned in your time of reflection and rest. So take time away and maybe write things down. Do a little bit of journaling. When I journal, everything becomes clear to me because I'm an air sign. So I have to like spell it out for myself sometimes. And, and then move forward with what you learned. Sure things can be unsure with that moon and those, mount those valleys and mountains there. Sure things can be unsure. But the solution is gaining everything that you've learned, gaining everything that you know, getting clear about it, and moving forward with the lessons, eager, bewildered, vibrant, excited, a go-getter, a go-doer. Okay, let's get one more card for your action recommended, Libra. Move forward with new ideas and a wholeness because that zero a wholeness very stable four of air move forward stable and whole listen to your guides listen to the people around you sometimes air signs we, we fly away and get too caught up and then we lose ourselves and we lose the people around us so clarify four of air and the fool for action recommended <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles again. So Ten of Earth, Ten of Earth. So become harmonious with the, the family, the stability, the finances. Be grounded. Be clear about what you want for yourself. Be clear about your goals, your aspirations, your passions. What, what do you want? What future do you want for yourself? You know, write it all down. 
and then move forward towards it eagerly and harmoniously with others, with your family, with your friends. Be grounded, you know. All right. Let's get three of air for your outcome in November. Three of air for Libra. We have patience, sent seven of rainbows, which is like seven of pentacles. So in this card, this character is pregnant and she's not sure exactly what's going to happen. She doesn't know the exact weight of her baby or the health of it or anything, but she's very at peace. You see her face. She's very calm and at peace because she knows that the divine has her. It has her back. Like you see the abundance around her and all of those flowers, if she were to fall or feel any doubt, she would be protected and safe. So get into the flow state. You see all these swirls. Get into the flow state and honor your ability to move through these cycles, learn through these cycles, grow through what you go through um, despite your doubts. And since this is to clarify your three of air and your um, outcome, it's like through your heartbreak, through all of the brain fog of disappointment and, you know, feeling betrayed, you're starting to understand and feel patient with it and um, be a little bit more okay with, you know, the, the, Tao, the Tao of life, T-A-O, the, the, the way of life, you know, it's just cycles. Okay. So let's get some more clarification. One more card to clarify your outcome in November. Three of air, seven of Pen seven of rainbows. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. And this is to get to this point at the end of the... So we have the four of earth up right side up and the four of pentacles, four of earth in reverse towards the end of the month. So towards the end of the month, divine is asking you to release control, release your need to control, um, release the clinging because that's what takes you down in these relationships or, you know, finances or in your six, whatever you want to be successful in. Let go of your need to be maybe even an individual and become whole with others. See the city behind him. Oops the city behind him and he's set apart from them so become right side up and become whole with the community and that will prevent you from feeling the fear the doubts and give you the ammunition to to feel patient and at peace with what you're growing through let's get one gem archangel card for you libra november guidance for libra please Cobaltian calcite. Are you in love? Are you craving health and feelings of well-being? Become a conduit for allowing heaven and earth to meet your center. Meet at your center. It is time to acknowledge the, es the essence of the divine of the divine love in you. Take the time to nurture yourself and imagine yourself in the arms of the divine mother. Archangel Zaphiel. I activate and embrace divine love. My emotions are balanced. I am clear and joyful. I am compassionate, wise, and tolerant. The qualities of unconditional love and mercy and understanding emanate from my being. Yes, so be, be a lot more tolerant and harmonious with others because you love yourself so much. Um, be successful, so successful in self-love that no buddies doubts can bring you down and you can just you know flow with life flow with the cycles flow with the disappointments and betrayal one guide card for libra in november please we have the crow 24 
So those are both very stable numbers. If you're into numerology, check that out. 24. Crow. Law. Okay. You must pause and reflect. You must pause and reflect. Where was I? Good Lord. Reflect on how you see the laws of the Great Spirit in relation to the laws of humanity. Crow medicine signifies a first-hand knowledge of the higher order of right and wrong than, than that indicated by the laws created by human culture. The crow medicine you speak, you speak in a powerful voice when addressing an issue that for you seems out of harmony, out of balance, out of whack, or unjust. Remember that crow looks at the world with first one eye and then the other cross-eyed. <laughs> in the Mayan culture, cross-eyed had the privilege and duty of looking into the future. You must put aside your fear of being a voice in the wilderness and call the shots as you see them. As you allow to learn yourself personal integrity to be your guide, your sense of feeling alone will vanish. Your personal will can emerge so that you will stand in your truth. The prime path of the truth, true crow people says that to be mindful of your opinions and actions. Be willing to walk your talk, speak your truth, know your life's mission, and balance the past, present, and future in your now. Shape, shift that old reality and become your future self. Allow the bending of physical laws and aid to aid in the creating the shape of shifting the world of peace. Okay, Libra, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and donate if you feel so inclined.